yeah welcome back and <laughs> you know the last video I was kind of rushing myself it's not my fault it's YouTube you know when a video is longer than 10 minutes they will with all your hard work they will tell you that yeah your video is disabled because it's longer than 10 minutes and it's kind of annoying so that's how I was rushing myself so I'm going to actually go back through it now I just you know take my a little bit of time and explain what I have done so uh, okay um remember i created okay i'm trying to get this out of the way okay i created this second page hard student or aspx i uh, put a label here you know change the text to first name then add um, a text box i changed the name to text box first name then do the same thing for the last name label and the text box i had a I had a button, I changed the text to had it to a database and I had a SQL data source and this one uh, the name was um, SQL data source 1 so then once I do that I changed some of the properties of this um, which I don't want to go through again because that would be like doing it all over again then um, in the design mode I um, come to the insert parameter which is the only thing I need because I only want to insert the data into the database and um, I use the ASP control parameter uh, and this usually use these four properties so the first one is the control ID and this ID uh, points to the ID on your web page that you want to extract the data from get it okay then the property name of that control you know the first control is the text box we want to get the data we want to get the text can okay, you so see you want to get a text from the text box if for example you want to get a color okay now yeah if you want to get a color of the text box okay, so the property name will be the color here so you state the control ID you state the property name that you want to get the name of the column in the database that's what this one represents the column in the database and the type you know it's going to be string isn't it you know the text is always string if this is um, color now it might be X the time might be like um, hexadecimal instead of string or byte or you know those kind of things so you do this for every control that you want to extract the information from and insert into the database so because we have only two the last name and the first name that's what we use this okay so once you've done that uh, once you've done that these are the only two parameters that you need to modify you can leave the rest of it as it is because once you've done that then you go back to the design page you go to the button you double click on it because you need to tell the button what to do when you click it and that's where you write only one simple line of code that on the button click the SQL data source one remember that's what we put on the page the SQL data source one dot insert you use this method the insert methods so it tells you that insert the data into the database okay so that's what it is so now let's run the page oh before I do that right let's run the page and uh, test our application so you can be sure that I'm not telling you what doesn't work this is how you had data to the database oh God, do not always perform this check. No, is it my force? Okay, uh, this is it. There we go. So let's add uh, three data into our database. This one is go I'm going to call it um, what name? <laughs> let me think about another person's name now. Actually, let me use. Right, add to database. Click on it. You've had it at a database. Oh, okay, I should have shown. I should have put like a label that say whole oh, database had it successfully. But yeah, you get the idea. 
and that should have probably made this empty oh okay now let's add another person's name let's say um, Joel King add that to the database right then uh, again let's add another person's name to the database let's just think about Tasha Tasha you know sometimes things just doesn't come from my head right so add that to the database so now let's go to our home page you know we'll just go to the home page right <laughs> you see where's Tasha did I just did I have Tasha let's refresh the page oh yeah yeah well, because we enable sorting that has gone to the second page <laughs> I was wondering where Tasha has gone okay so if you do, if you think this wasn't right I'll show you it, you probably thought oh he, he had it in advance now let's have it let's have it one more let's have it now let's say Tasha Trisha now Tasha Tasha Trisha no what am I doing Trisha okay had to database let's add one more and this will be the name of my cousin yeah right so okay now if we go back to the home page the home page can you see everything is in the second page right that's what the what we just added now so you can see that we have a home page which display all our information so our default.aspx is recent our default.aspx is all our values from the database we can sort it you know by the first name last name so I can make Tasha come to this page you can sort it by ID and um, now we have our page which is hard student page uh, view browser hard student page let me stop it so hard student page view browser so you can see that we have created a database driven website so uh, now you, you now have to use a lot of uh, creativity you know to make this work you can add as much information as you want into the database you can create a comment page where you can ask people to leave comments for you so as soon as they leave comment it shows up in here I mean at the bottom here but you know for you to make this work you have to add a label or uh, uh, okay I think you get the idea instead of putting the um, uh, grid view on another page you just put it just right below this page so as soon as they click the how to database it should uh, show up here and uh, now let me show you something if I click on this how to database without inputting any data in here let's see what happens we should gain error and the error is because um, we said columns does not allow nulls remember when I was creating my database talking about not in uh, not an hour in nulls if I have allowed nulls in the database then it will have worked but our database will have, will have been empty which means uh, we'll be wasting uh, we'll just be wasting our database space so the best thing is not an out nulls and um, to prevent data being sent across without input data so you need to use uh, validation controls to make sure that if no data is input in here then there's no way this button is going to work so now thank you very much uh, my video is another 9 minutes 27 seconds now and um, I'll be coming back with more videos so right now I'm going to have my breakfast <laughs> thank you